I think interviews, you just mentioned interviews there. I think they're a big thing because fans particularly want to know what the manager thinks of a game once the final whistle has gone. Maybe there's a particular player made his debut or scored a hat-trick or some other interesting thing that you can pick up on from the game itself. They want to know what that player thinks. And that for me would be an area that you could look at and address and say we could probably do more across Welsh football whereby people do take notice of celebrity status whether that's you as an individual linked with someone or whether it's your club having a blue tick nevertheless even if it's only on a subliminal basis I think that does click with people Nation. or the academy so there's still lots of stuff that you can put but for me the key <clears throat> is not the blue tick itself although I think it's helpful it doesn't do any harm but the regular content that you can keep going alongside it. I think, again, it's a, it's a time thing. Although I'm full-time and we have another full-time worker as well, Sam Wood, we both work together full-time in media. Nevertheless, the reality is that once you start to do so much, you keep taking extra things on, it doesn't matter whether you're full-time or part-time, you still need to have that right balance in I your life. Just two or three clicks. But if I post them on Facebook, I'll get well into double figures, not not triple figures. I don't get in hundreds of clicks from Facebook, but I'll certainly get 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. But then 80. on the evening, you can retweet it or even put it as a quote tweet. So you can say, this was our video from this morning. We hope you enjoyed it. And that will pick up more views as well. So we do look at the at the views, the times of the day, and I would say that even though we do have the flexibility now of smart...